Welcome to Real Foot Forward, a West Tennessee podcast from Discovery Park of America in Union City, Tennessee. Today's episode is brought to you by our friends at Leaders Credit Union. Thank you, Zach, and welcome to Real Foot Forward, a West Tennessee podcast where we explore the history, the people, and the culture of our home in West Tennessee, and I'm your host, Scott Williams. Okay, Zach, as always, before I introduce today's very, very special guest, I added an extra very in there because I'm really excited to talk to her, what's something you've discovered this week at Discovery Park of America? With the guests we have coming, I wanted to learn something about our settlement, and so I talked to Art, a docent here, he's always full of knowledge. And he told me that those all came from a place in Obion County, all except one. And they actually lived in those from the 1830s to the 1870s. I thought that was really cool. That is just one of the many things that we have in common with um, an incredible place we're going to talk about, Patty's 1880 settlement in Grand Rivers, Kentucky. Our special guest that we have here today, and I am going to sit down just so you know, <laughs> our special guest. <laughs> that we have here today is ann powell who, who martin i'm sorry why did i put that was the last oh my gosh <laughs> I screwed it up. it's good it's live it's, it's, it's why you're like glad it's not i mean we did this for four hours yesterday and i would just be like four hours of podcasting See, we had jeremy powell last week and oh. said this is left over you're not married to jeremy powell the I minister not. Are you? no i okay. am not so, you're uh, safe not. sorry jeremy <laughs> Our guest today is Ann Martin. Yes. I believe in leaving the errors in because hey, that makes I everybody like, more well, comfortable. Well, it's more real. That's exactly right. We are absolutely not no. perfect. You might need this closer. Um, we started. <laughs> um, you're, yeah, you're a little closer might okay. be good. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, our old producer guy said as big as a fist. So that's okay. what I try well, to remember good, that. Um, so you wear tons of hats <laughs> yeah. at, at, at Patty's. And so what I want to hear a lot about you first. And then I also want to hear about Patty's, obviously. Oh, gosh, yeah. Um, and then uh, about Grand Rivers yeah. and just everything. I um, I feel like it's just one of the greatest things we have in this region. Well, I you. send people up there all the time. Thank My you. wife and I just rented a cabin at the Green Turtle yeah, um, yeah, right Resort. The and we uh, came to Patty's and then Discovery Park, I guess it was a year before last, mm -hmm. we had our planning session, our annual yes. planning session there. And then we came to Patty's yes. and together yes, as a group. That. And it was, yeah. it was amazing as awesome. always. So, so start us from the, tell us a little bit about where you came from. Well, um, my journey to Patty's was pretty much through the hotel part of it, it was a, a different owner that I had started with out of college. And um, he was an attorney. I was in legal assisting, paralegal. And so he was also into to business development. And so he started the hotel there that was right there on exit 31, mm -hmm. the small hotel. Mm -hmm. And it was, I helped build it from ground up. And wow. it was a, it was a chain that was a smaller chain, kind of a unique chain in itself, Microtel in and suite. So mm -hmm. the rooms are small so we could be, you know, we had, our concept was you were just spending the night quick and moving on. But now it's weird because now we want you to spend many nights and stay. Of course. <laughs> so, of course. you know, it's evolved now into from um, after we had a fire, you know, on mm -hmm. uh, February 5th, 2018. And I've got lots of questions about that. I'm, I'm going to do the yeah. questions after the commercial okay. for the fire because I okay. do want to ask a lot about well, that. Well, and I don't, you know, how much you want me to keep on going, but I mean, you know, no, so. You, hey, you just keep going as long as you want okay. to. And, I'll, you know, it's, uh, <laughs> I do want to, I do want to back up a little bit because I want to know where you, where you originally you came from. The very okay. Well, from the very very beginning very beginning, uh, beginning. Well, we're gonna have therapy right uh, oh hey listen <laughs> okay. there's a, we had therapy yesterday that's why house. there's tissue box. that's why yeah, there's, there's tissue boxes i mean i'm not getting weakened and and if you i think you told me you watch my tiktoks yes and I, that is you you see the real deal mm -hmm. and just goofy uh we you are going to talk about that yeah we yeah have, we have a lot <laughs> okay. we this may be a four-parter <laughs> okay so yeah well i mean i've heard i started in um i was born in indiana uh moved here when i was five my dad was in construction steel mills in indiana um it was gary it was getting rougher and rougher and he was like and i like going fishing and so we moved from there to kentucky lake and wow. i grew up at kentucky lake then so you literally grew up yeah, right around there i, I did. did notice that yeah. you two both went to the same university yes Murray state yeah. Murray state university so yes have the same alma mater yes we do go racers <laughs> so right you did not go very far from home i you, didn't i left for a little while went up to elizabethtown kentucky mm -hmm. um right out of college um 
my he was my fiance then he and my husband now mm -hmm. 33 years mm -hmm. and he was with fruit of the loom at a management in campbellsville kentucky mm -hmm. to, after he graduated with a business management degree he went there to be in manager training to go for fruit of the loom um while we were in e-town though i was diagnosed um a week before our wedding with non-hodgkin's lymphoma and so he, our kind of world kind of topsy-turvy there for a while because then he stayed with fruit of the loom but they were trying to move him to princeton so we didn't have to leave because i was going through chemo i did about a year and a half of chemo and wow. radiation and yeah i had that, a, no, that knocked you yeah the and that was you know i found out a week after we got married um so and did, had you been feeling bad i had some lumps come up in my neck mm -hmm. and i just just you know how you're just like oh it's just i've got a creak in my neck and then it got to where i couldn't turn it and then i got to where i lose the weight and just you know things started to just like, okay, something's not right here. So right. I ended up going in, but I didn't want to have the surgery to take the lymph nodes out because my dress was all open, you know? So, oh, wow. you know, yeah. so he was all into that. So we waited probably a little bit longer than we should have that, that I had it opened up and it found it. But I mean, God's willing, I'm, I'm here. So they didn't think I'd ever have a child. I have two yeah. and, you know, and still married and he, you know, we're so, so thankfully that, that was a huge journey. And I think that journey changed, of course, my life. It would, you know yeah. how that is. And I am, I bet you won't find a very more positive person than I am. I don't know. I try to shine that in anything that I work in and where I'm at just because there's so much negative in the world. And I mean, sure. if you're coming, like you're coming here, this is an awesome place. You yeah. know, it's such a, um, it makes you smile when you walk in and same thing with the settlement. And I think that is with building a team that sees you smile. Mm -hmm. And when they see you smile, they smile. Mm -hmm. And there's not a person I don't walk through there that I don't like, Hey, how are you? I mean, I may not get their name right, but they don't, you know, yeah. they're like, and then they know I don't. I called Jared. His name's Jordan, but I've called Jared ever since I've been on my face because he looked like Jared to me. I got one in there that looks like Morgan Wallen. I really don't even really know his name. I love him. He's, yeah. you know, but I, I go, hey, Morgan, how you doing? I said, when's some concert tickets coming? You know, you just kind of pick and kind of play so they know you're real and not sitting up there in the tower, they call it, you know, above looking down. Now, what, what was your major? My major was um, legal assistant paralegal. Wow. Okay. Yeah, I got yeah. really bored in the law library by myself. Yeah. Did you, <laughs> did you want to be a lawyer? Was that sort of the long term I, goal? I can argue. Okay. So, yeah. you know, I was always told you can, you can kind of change somebody's mind a little bit. And I think it would just, but then when I got into it and then when I got sick and then, you know, paths right. change and, and, and journeys are different. And, you well, know, I met what, some, a lot of kids don't who are going to college or whatever, don't realize how, you know, it's important you get your degree. It it's is. important, you know, and it's important you find something you love to do. Yeah. You know, but the, a lot of people, most people don't end up working exactly. In, no, it, and you know, I, I don't know what the percentage of that. That would be a good, yeah, you know, what's the percentage be. that it, where they went into that, you know, maybe a lot of doctors and lawyers and dentists, you know, because that's kind of precise, but right. business management, uh, you know, legal assistant, it kind of gives you a broad, I mean, I never had marketing. Yeah, I but, was journalism. Yeah, was journalism. Mine. Well, yeah. I could always write. I could write my way out of any trouble I ever and, got And into. you know, that's my wife and I <laughs> were just talking yeah, about that last can, night. She yeah. teaches at UT Martin. She teaches art history. And we were talking about how if, 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 students can write well mm -hmm. you know and that if 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 they focused more on writing yeah it would, it would really help them in everything oh, they in every do, way they do both while they're in school and every then today do. i mean and you know i see that because we have a lot of younger ones that work for us the host pretty much and they're the ones that take the front orders and right. and you can see some of them are it's it's not even legible Mm -hmm. You know, and you hate right. to, because, well, and I, there's a whole change. I, COVID changed the world, you know, yeah. as everybody does. Yeah. And that time frame in there when some of them, we live in Livingston County and mm -hmm. it's one of the poorest counties mm -hmm. in Kentucky. Yeah. You know, and um, there's a lot being offered there now, you know, but it took growth to do that. Sure. But so you've got a lot of kids that didn't have what other kids in other, other counties had. Mm -hmm. And they're. Um, they're so far out, they're spread so far out, there's not that many in it, you know, so it's just, you can see now that um, getting back in school, they're going to start maybe, I think, I see the cursive again, and I'll, you know, I'll, so it's where they can really write their name in a, in a name and not just print it. Right, right. Yeah. Um, so you uh, decided to change gears a little bit and, and talk us through sort of your various uh, jobs until you got to patties until i got to patties i started 14 year old um, in, um golf clubs handing them out at a miniature golf and yeah <laughs> and then from there i went into the ice cream parlor and then from there it had a it was in aurora okay. you know what aurora is uh -huh. um it was called the wishing well pizza parlor and so i ended up from that managing the pizza parlor and did that and then you know from there when i was in school went to uh, marshall county high school in benton kentucky in draftonville there mm -hmm. and um 
went from there to, to college straight out, you know, and started working for an attorney out of Murray. And from there, when we moved to Campbellsville and Elizabethtown, I started working for a financial company. I've, I have um, went and I, I used to chase bad debt. Ooh. Yeah, but I have some stories. I oh. had a gun pulled on me. I mean, you can do what I did today. You would be dead. You oh, know, yeah, no. <laughs> I, I did. I went uh, and a gentleman, he decided he didn't want me. He opened up that door and had that gun and I got back in my car and I left. Yeah, I, for a yeah. week, I was telling my kids this, this <laughs> last weekend, for a week, uh-huh. I had a job with Equifax where oh, yeah. I would go to people's houses who were not paying their bills. Oh, and my yeah. job was to go in and try to help them do a budget. <laughs> now, can you imagine the struggles they were going through in life? And, and then here comes some you. 14 yeah. year old boy shows up on yeah. their front porch and says, hi, I'm here to help you do your budget. It's a miracle. I didn't get shot. Well, I no. repoed two cars by myself. <laughs> oh. One gentleman, I, I, want, I you know, you want to tell where you're at, but yeah. one gentleman had to come out and he even helped me. I felt so bad. He felt so bad for me. He started it for me. <laughs> and then I drove off in it because he was like, oh, you're never going to get that started. <laughs> so he helped me oh repo his car. Gosh. Yes. But, no, you know, so you never, you have different jobs. You know how that is. Different you jobs. You see a lot of things that yeah. help contribute to the leader that you've become yeah. today. You yeah. probably couldn't do what you yeah. do today without having no, gone through that. You know, none of us, you have to have that journey. You have to meet those special people along the way. And they, you know, teach you their different things that they have. And that's a big right turn to end up doing what you were doing and ending up in tourism. So what? Yeah, what and I, you know, I don't even really know the turning point of that. Um, I, I was always able if, when they came in and I did some commercials, I did some extra stuff for a guy that was doing some video work. I could just I could talk off the cuff, mm-hmm. you know. If they gave me a like, here you need to say this. Oh, we have a long time to do that because I can't do that. Yeah. So I, they were grabbing me for different places, and then the owner of Patty's Chip, whenever he bought the hotel. He was just like, you know, I've seen you, what you can do with, you know, talking. And mm-hmm. he said, so wondered if you'd come over and help, you know, get the word back out about Patty's. Because it was during the fire okay. that you didn't want to lose your brand. Mm-hmm. You know, you didn't want to have to rebuild your brand. Mm-hmm. And so if you had a face yeah. that they saw every day. Mm-hmm. And and so that's what I did. I got on there. Sometimes there wasn't, you, you had a pebble move and I'm like... We've got a pebble. We've moved today. Yeah. <laughs> because you got to keep these people excited that you're coming back because you have a tent. Right. You have mm, 57 employees that you got. You really need to keep them. And so you're hoofing and thinking, what else can I do? You get down to two employees. You got down to me and my co right now that, and we were the only ones left and it was COVID and we, we learned how to make the butter. She's been there a pretty long time. She started mm-hmm. when she was a server and we went and we made strawberry butter. We jarred it. We labeled it. We packed it and we put it on the porch. And for two weeks, we sold twenty eight thousand dollars in strawberry butter. Oh my gosh! <laughs> just us two, amazing. Just to keep that month's lights on. I mean, this is baddies too. But we had no. It was fire. You know, we were. It was COVID. It was fire. We had no bill. You know, it yeah. was just everything working against us. And so, for people who don't, for people who don't know, I think um, uh, your website has a great elevator speech of what patties is. I'm yes. going to share that, and yes. then. Um, Let's talk a little bit about the history. And yeah. so the elevator speech is one courageous woman transformed her love for cooking and family into an award-winning business that serves over $1 million in pork chops every year in a town of 350 people. Now that is an amazing, <laughs> and three, succinct, actually it's 373 is where we've grown three, okay, to. Okay. I'm going to cross <laughs> that, that out. Isn't that crazy? 373. 373. Some people have babies. Yeah. That's yeah, good. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. So it's, it's so, and, and also in case I forget, I also uh-huh. want to shout out Bill Manahan oh, in, I love Bill Manahan. Uh, at Badgett's Playhouse. His, his family, they're members here. He's yeah. hosted events for us. He's, he's a real supporter of Discovery Park. And so, you know, uh, and we work well together, him and I, yeah. I, I mean, I love him. Yeah. And so, so, Pat, for for anybody who you know doesn't know, yes, um, my wife and I we were first made aware of Patties when we were driving, you know, and the sign on the interstate says Patties, um, eighteen hundred settlement, yeah, yeah. and I love you know history. Yeah, so I yeah. kept in my head, I kept saying I gotta go see that. I imagined it was just a bunch of cabins like we have in our <laughs> yes. settlement. You know, I had no clue what it was, and eventually, pe- you know, people said. You know, hey, when they come back, because yeah. when I moved here, it, it was not oh, open. Oh, it, it was yeah, fire? Okay. Yeah, and so they said, you know, you, you got to go see that. And so yeah. we really had no idea of what yeah. it was. Yeah. Um. So tell us a little bit about the history of, yeah, of and what it is. I think that's the hardest thing for that we want people to understand of where we came from, because, you know, it's a very important. We're going to be 47 years in March this year. Wow. Uh, and so it, it's the history is, is what is so important to Chip, who is still living. That's Patty's son. 
um, him and Michael Lee, they were also the founders of it. And so he would like the story to, to go on. And so the, the timeline, if you look on our website too, we have mm -hmm. a timeline that tells you the periods of when, when it started in March of 77, they were in a little motel that they all bought the motel and were renting out the rooms and Patty was cooking and Bill was going around with the pig, Calvin, which we have Calvin's moonshine from Calvin, the pig, where well, he'd go around town and he'd give roses out to people. If they'd bring the rose in that he'd give them a dollar off meal and then the pork chops came around and the way they made the pork chops one night was not the way they always did but then they found out that was everybody's like no that's what you need to do so that was the two inch pork chop you know they char it because they couldn't do the regular grill so it's just things evolved patty loved to cook um she made those mile high meringue pies and luckily um some of the people that are still at the restaurant today they worked with patty i mean and it's you know wow. and that you're gonna lose that you know that's that's sure. a kind of a but that's where we install with you know training and training and training and we've got some amazing 200 you know we have 373 people in the town and we ha employ right now because we're at january which is a little slower we're at 233. i refuse to believe that you're ever slow oh, well, i have never I, been there yeah that that you just popped right in yeah. i mean there's yeah always people there i mean it we're is very popular. very fortunate very yeah. fortunate and popular yeah we are and some of the events we're having now is really gaining us the little house on the prairie is coming again they were there last year and then also we've got greece coming this year so those events have just got i think more eyes opened to us and, and the theater across one of my very good friends is terry yes. mike jeffrey oh and, gosh yeah. he was on my podcast oh was yeah, he yeah we oh, had a ball i love terry mike oh, jeffrey he sang on it you oh, don't yeah. have to add next yeah. time you see him you know he just uh he just went through yes, uh, cancer yes, treatments again yes. and fortunately yes, has beat it again. so he uh he and i have done many elvis cruises together oh, so really? you have to ask he him talked about, about the elvis cruises did he yeah oh, that's funny well ask him about me and the elvis cruises oh, i've got gosh. some funny stories that i that's awesome. I can't share on a podcast about me and T <laughs> Terry and Mike Jeffrey. It's so. an after night, after hour podcast. <laughs> <laughs> but there's a, uh, uh, you That's know, so you have all those performances going on. People can come oh. and eat before and after. It's, it's just, it's, it's just a charming little place. I mean, and then at Christmas, then the ca carriages just going by and this, I, it was the funniest thing. I had a, a TikTok that tagged me and they had come into town, had no clue what it was. It was two girls. And the one girl goes, where? the hell are we <laughs> and the other girl goes girl there's a carriage <laughs> i mean it's just funny because they got lost and sure. turned and we're just in it and that's the that's the, that's the fun you know well my uh my in-laws dave and carol came into town and you know they're from boise idaho and oh, california yeah. and so we're always yeah. looking for fun things to do yeah. and so we took them there when they were here and you know, they just had such a kick yeah. out of every, you know, you could spend, I mean, my wife and I spent a long weekend there. I mean, you could yeah. spend a lot of time yeah. just shopping in your you stores. Can. Um, we might have sampled the new <laughs> moonshine, yes, you know, yes. talk a little bit about that. Oh gosh, the moonshine, the moonshine came around right after COVID also. I was just trying to think of revenue because you just didn't know, you know, you didn't know if you're going to be able to fill out seats or if they were let you. So I had some friends in um, Silent Brigade that's out of Paducah, Kentucky, that is our stillers, and, and we got to talking, and we knew that Calvin's would be our number one or 100 proof, you know, the main white, not, I mean, you know, not your grandpappy's moonshine, but it was sure. pretty strong. And then we got, I said, you know, why can't we make them flavored like the pies? Why? I mean, and from there, we got a sawdust pie one. We've got a boat sinker pie one. We've got a boo-boo pie one. We've got a lemonade one that's amazing. We got our double um, buttercrumb Dutch apple one. You know, so I've got six moonshines. And so this year now, I'm right now, um, we're designing the label. I'm, I'm doing bourbon. So, oh, wow. Okay. Yes. So the barrels are not quite ready yet. You know, they're, they're, will be middle of the year. So we're going to start. I, that's why I'm working on my lab, labels to get that done to, to bring in the silent brigades coming and they're going to build their, um, there's a little property behind Craig's and then across where City Hall used to be. And it's going to be the brigade and they're going to have like a, like a bourbon bar and, and you can watch it being distilled right there and sample. And so it's, it's, Grand Rivers is just fixing to go crazy. Well, and it's that's a great addition to everything else you have on for for anyone who's listening who hasn't been. Yeah. You know, it's like it's like a village. Yeah. And there's different yeah. sh shops and stores and experiences. Yeah. And then uh, Bill's uh, uh, Badget Playhouse is across yes, the street where they yes, do live yeah, entertainment, so much to it. You know, theaters, and then yeah. right around the corner. I mean, and there's a lot of places that I'm sure I'm not going to say, <laughs> but 
you know, yeah. so sorry to anybody there yeah. who says, what about us? <laughs> well, Green Turtle, you know? Lighthouse Landing, I'll throw them out there for you. There you, you go. You know, yeah. the outpost, you know, they go to the tap house, you know, there's a lot of great places, um, the Grand Rivers Inn, you know, there's not anywhere in town that I would ever say, oh, don't go there, you know, right. because the, the town cares, the town, you know, gosh, you know, we all made it through the fire, you know, because it was a quiet town. It was a really, get, really gonna, quiet we're town. We're going to go okay. into the fire. <laughs> the um, fire, yeah. Yeah, I want to hear about that yeah. and what it's like when that happens. Yeah. But also, th there is um, the water yes. is there, yes. and so there's even like yacht sails, yes. Yes. and there are You're people on a that a pen peninsula. It's yeah. a hard word. There's yeah. water on each side of you. Yeah. So there's activity. There's um, you can do the kayaks. You can do you know. A lot of people probably sail in. Yeah. You know, oh, they get do. out. And the, come over um, to you. the loopers. Have you ever mm -hmm. heard of loopers? Uh huh. The yep. loopers are yep. bigger. That. That's who I want to be when I grow up. I want yeah. to be a looper. <laughs> and I meet so many ones because I'll stand at the bar at, at Lawson's and usually this is what I do. I talk to people when, when I work, I talk. Mm -hmm. And so just where are you from? What are you doing? And those looper, they look fun. They, that's a fun life. <laughs> They're definitely. like, well, we're just going back to the boat. And I was like. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, definitely a nice life. Oh, yeah. Um, and so uh, talk me through. Cause it's, it's, I'm going to finish a little bit more of the description. So, so <laughs> the pork chops are famous. Yes. The pies are, I don't know how, how tall are the pies? A mile pies? high they're, meringue. They're about nine inches. They're huge mm -hmm. pies mm -hmm. that are delicious. Yeah, and you can either buy them by the slice or, or yeah. by the whole pie. Uh, the pie. And then also the bread yes. is, is in my head. Flower as, pot bread. It, and it comes in a flower pot. It's, and you have strawberry, strawberry butter, butter you bread. alluded to earlier. Yes. We're making people yes. hungry. I, I know, know we, are. we are. Well, you, you don't leave hungry. Let me tell you that. Right. You've got so many people that I, I say, how was everything? I'm miserable. I'm like, that's what we want. <laughs> yeah. And I mean, in, and you can put your name on the list and then go walk around and, yeah. and shop yeah. and then come back. And yeah. that's what we do. Yeah. So. And that's, and that's, it's just, it's fun. It's lots of memories. And I don't, I don't have in my head uh -huh. the old version versus the new version. And we'll talk about that in a minute. But was the windmill, the not windmill, the water wheel, the water wheel with the logo, was that part of the old? No, that was, was part that of the new? old, but it wasn't touched with the fire. Oh, wow. So it, okay. we're actually now. Um, you can see it actually now when you walk in the front door. Okay. It's, the atrium is all glass, and you, there's the water wheel. So now that we've kind of laid the 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 uh, territory so that people yeah. know, yeah. what is a day in your life like oh. as the co CEO? Uh, wake up. If usually there's an alarm, a, a door alarm, some point of the night. And they all, I, I'm not a good sleeper, so they're like, and I'll get that one. So if somebody walk, goes in and doesn't get the alarm off, and generally, and then I have to look at the cameras, and then, you know, so an alarm usually sets me off about every other day. Um, but thank God there hasn't been anything serious. And then, uh, you know, it's straight up to usually there's a phone call from maintenance that something's not working, or, I mean, you you probably live it too, you know. It's mm -hmm. like 911, how many are you calling in that aren't on the line? You've got in a normal busy or busy busiest day you can do 2600 and you know and you got to run two lines and those two lines are identical but one line feeds and i say a line i mean there's there's usually about 100 100 or so working back there and one line feeds one side of the buildings with all the rooms and then the other line see, feeds the other so you've got to have that working you got to have the staff happy <laughs> you've got you know so call outs are the problem and then so then it, there's a text that message that just is constantly going like who's coming in who's not to make we're covered um, when they're sick, you know, so that getting to, to get into work, it's sometimes 11 o'clock and I'm still like in my bathroom, still going, okay, hold on. You uh, let me call um, the electrical company and I'll call you right back. And then do you, st are you guys managing, do you, man do you uh, manage the stores that Wait, are all I mean, around? All of it. All so of it. even hotel, all of that, the, bed, the hotel too? The hotel, the bed and breakfast, the, the um, T. Lawson's, the whole, whole restaurant, all the gift shops. We have rental properties too. We probably have uh, eight rental properties, um, three properties that we think we're going to do things with pretty soon. You know, we have some ideas for that that I've had for sale. I'm also a realtor, so um, but on the side, and so I, you know, it's just it's it's pretty a hectic day. I mean, every day is so different, though. You know, there's sometimes there's an ambulance that drives up because they have a guest that fell out. You know, our demographic is an older, and I'm not to say it, you know, sadly, but that's the age yeah. that we have during the day. Sure. And so we have lots of 911s that they come in, and, and I'm very, very good friends with the fire chief. <laughs> well, the thing that you guys have that, yeah. that is such a blessing is that you are very accessible because yes. you're big and buses can pull and in. And that's what, that's what God had blessed us with. That's that, brilliant. Yeah. That is where you would never want to fire. You would never want that. And I would never go through it again. Um, the last time I got a real, real fire call on this new restaurant, 
I was, I mean, they were like, Ann, it's on fire on this one because there was something on top of the roof. And I was like, and all the way there, I was like, I'm not doing this again. Wow. You know, yeah. so because yeah. it's just that rush of feeling of God, yeah. PTS, you know, what? how do we even know how many employees we have when we don't have any files because they all burn up? You know, we were better now when we were at the fire time. Yeah. That one is yeah. you're very you're n- never prepared for what you have to do. But well, have, being able to accommodate those all, continuous rotation of bus groups. Yeah. Um, I know that uh, our chamber here in Union City and anybody on our tourism uh, committee would be mad if I didn't say, if you guys ever decide to expand, I think Patty's Union City yeah. has a nice, <laughs> Wouldn't that has be a nice? nice ring to it. And there's lots of land around here. We have a great museum. <laughs> there, wouldn't that be cool? 250,000 visitors there a year. You go. Imagine. I, we, um, we, Zach, we could get. Um, it's the second water wheel. We could get, but we could butter every day. <laughs> yeah, uh, bread. There and you go. Um, so, That's so funny. as a leader, yes. what is your biggest challenge? Um, uh, employees, you know. And then it's, it's everybody, it's everybody. It's across the yeah, board, it's all of us. you know, but at, I, in our world, I think what we're trying to do is we're trying to think we, we know what it is. We know what the problem is. Now we got to figure out how we're going to adapt to the problem, not how the problem's going to adapt to us and fix it, you know? So finding different ways of, um, one person being able to do maybe some more work in, in different ways, not to make them work harder, but to make them more effective in the yeah. way that they can hold them people to accountable. Yeah. holding people accountable. Yeah. I mean, I can't inconsistency of, of employees has grown. And with that, if you just allow that to continue, they lose respect for you and so on. So I think it, it is employment is the hardest. Um, you've got a lot of um, sad stories, you know, you want to help every one of them because they've, I mean, gosh, I'm with them every day, I, sure. you know, so, you know, you got to be, it's business, not personal. And yeah. that I say that almost once every day to somebody, you know, it, this, I love you. It's yeah. business, not personal. Yeah. And so I think that's challenging too. Being in being in my shoes and a female, you know, you know, that is loving like that. And mm-hmm. my co is we're so separate, um, of two different people. She is the down, you know, she's in the work, she's at the chart, she's running it, that part of the kitchen mm-hmm. part. Mm-hmm. And I'm up here as, you know, selling it as much as I can, talking it and doing podcasts and, and marketing and, you know, doing the TikToks. TikToks. And, well, and, and I yeah. want to know, um, so tell me, obviously, um, we've mentioned TikTok. Yeah. That's where I saw you on yeah. TikTok and I was like, Zach, we got to get her. <laughs> um, I so, think that's fun. So what, so uh, when did you, do you remember when you first started running across TikToks and what, what was the impetus to you saying, you know what, I'm going to do a TikTok? Um, a song. And I just reloaded it the other day. There's three girls coming out in dresses, and then I spin around with two pies. And dun, dun, dun. that song just kept going in my head. And I told, I used to be nervous about doing it, like mm-hmm. in front of people. I'd be like, oh, this is so embarrassing, babe. Mm-hmm. Let's, let's try to do this TikTok, and we'll do it really quick and get it over with. And that one, just that first one cued quick. And then I went to do a commercial because I was doing a TV commercial. Hold on. I forgot to put my phone on. <laughs> do not disturb. That's air number two. Hold on. Strike two. <laughs> Okay, keep going. I was doing a commercial for Pepsi. Um, we did um, the Pepsi Chase is what he called it. We started in YouTube's and Wizard of Oz. Chip was in it. He was the wizard. Those are all on YouTube. There's some really, I mean, those are over a million views on those. That those are those fun times. Um, wizard of Oz was a big one, a big fun time. So those grew, and um, as that kind of moved over to TikTok land because it was TikTok was easy for me. I don't know. Just doing it was easy. I wasn't ever good at Instagram. I didn't ever, I bet in Facebook is like, Oh gosh. Yeah. Facebook is just (laughs) never stop Facebook. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) You know, I have 300 and uh, 330,000 viewers on Facebook and I can, put a, something on there and, and they'll see it and they'll see it sells. It's unbelievable. You know, the power of just telling people, and I guess that's why people do that. You know, I guess they sell, but I do it for, you know, the company. Yeah. And, um, then TikTok just grew. Um, I did the, my one that had the most views and I guess it kind of got me out there where I had more followers and a million likes was, uh, I scuffed my shoes because I was getting ready to go into the Pepsi commercial. And I don't know why I said, like, scuff them shoes, girls, are you going to fall and you're going to bust your ass. And I guess I know I said ass <laughs> and that one just I kept getting these ding ding dings and, and Beverly's like wow they really like that one I was like I did nothing but stuff my shoes you right. know and then well, you obviously you. you obviously enjoy TikTok oh, I do. because you do so well at it well, you know I, yeah and, my family gets they get on their nerves <laughs> <laughs> but it, but you're very personable 
And that's what I struggle with. You know, what we oh, have a TikTok. Really? Yeah, yeah. You know, mine's like, you know, ridiculous. Yeah. <laughs> but I don't haven't even done it in a while. It's it's so hard to find time yeah. when you have the phone calls about yeah. the fire on the roof yeah. and the engineers and the yeah. you know, it's so hard to find time, find time. to do and so I kind of do the odd stuff. I do the other stuff that I have time that are just goofy. Like I ran over, I bought my Doss, Dawson. He's my nephew. He was, yesterday was his last day. And before he went to his wedding, he's going to get married this right. next week. And I've got Marcus, so that won't be there. But I bought him a vacuum. What the heck do I do? I ran over it with the car. <laughs> going to wrap it. Right. Not I mean, in the parking right. lot. Right. There to give it to him. I ran <laughs> over it. And so I was just like, what the Right, but so, it's and like you had the like, server that was yeah. pregnant, and yeah. you know, oh and, yeah, and you know. she had the baby, yeah, yeah. Awesome. yeah, and the baby's adorable. See, yeah, and it's just fun, <laughs> it's fun stuff, like you, you know, it's just reality. So I've, I'm trying to be inspired by you, yeah. and try to figure out a way out because Discovery Park has an amazing TikTok that Zach yeah. runs, and yeah. he does such a good job. Oh, yeah, he he, he yeah. doesn't think so, but he's yeah, working on it. But I think it's good. great. I think he does a great I job. Think it's good. I do it's too. just hard. It's just hard to know exactly what what to do you know because yeah. we really we want people to come here and visit and yeah. you know we want we want robert kirkland who started discovery park was nothing but fun i yeah. mean he was yes. a fun fun yes. guy from what i understand <laughs> and so we want to sort of replicate that you know yeah. fun you know that, and it that, changes it up and it's experienced each time you come is different and, yeah, yeah yeah so yeah. you know our our tiktok you know and so have you do you have you had impact from your tiktok oh yeah yeah um women that you know it, you got to find your niche you got to mm -hmm. know who you're talking to i think is the key and um yeah women have just said but a lot of men but you don't you know the men ones you're like oh, unblock fuck you know because yeah. <laughs> you got some creepers out there in the world yeah yeah, yeah and i think no. that's the hardest thing because you don't know who is x3177 they don't have to really be anybody do you get negative comments at all oh yeah oh you do yeah oh i cannot imagine yeah. that's terrible yeah 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 I'm, I'm uh yeah oh all the time but block block you know I right don't, you know you don't, i'm like i don't even have time for you so um i guess you know i think that's it it's got it's I, be real in whatever you do that's, yeah. i mean that's the same thing if i sit there and somebody is so just repetitive and they show the same thing and this is a rock and this is the blue rock and this is you know trip before you do it and you know you fall down accidentally you, and go, right. oh my God, i just fell down like i'm trying to find you know you've got to put some real life because that's all these kids watch is real life. You well, know, and in and 2024, I would say that's probably the best marketing and PR uh, oh, advice. Yeah, it, it was, you know, back in the 40s and 50s. I mean, honestly, even yeah. in the 80s and 90s, we were all trying oh, to be, we very be very structured, and yeah. you know, we had to have the right cameras, and we were very, you know, we yeah. were all uptight about yeah. making mistakes. And yeah. you're right now, yeah. it's just let it flow. And I think know? that's the the same way I can put that into perspective with Patty's is when they hired me to do marketing. They said, "What do you feel that Patty's needs?" Because at that time, Patty's was having some rough time with with the locals. The locals felt they were out of touch. They were too expensive. They thought they were, you know, there was just a time period there before the fire. And so whenever I came on board, I said, it's got to have and I, a face. I said, it's got to mm -hmm. have somebody that it is just sees and, and they know that that's true and meaningful and, and you're giving it and you're selling it and you're selling the employees. And, and so from that, I just, I just, Game the face, I guess. Well, and so, and so, to your point, yeah. if you back up this a little bit, the husband and wife obviously passed away. They did. And are they they're are they buried there or are they're they at, their ashes are there? Okay, yeah, I was going to say there's like a chapel. Air. Yeah, that um, there, this chapel and a memorial there yes. with their picture and their yes. story is yes. on it. Chip still has their ashes. Okay, um, so Chip Chip is hands on uh, somewhat. He's somewhat retired, but somewhat hands on. He's up to bed and breakfast all the time. Okay, and so every story I've listened and listened to story of story because i've been with him for a long time yeah. and you know he's not going to be able to he's up there telling stories so i'm sure. down there telling the story he's told me you know so I, we've got a really really he calls me the daughter that he never had you yeah. know so we have a really he also sometimes he says you're headstrong and sometimes we fight but, yeah hey that's, you know that's what, but we don't fight the here end, at all do we <laughs> Um, so has, has he written a book at all about them? And well, he's got the two cookbooks okay. there. The first cookbook talks about Patty when she was living in, and talks about how she came up with the different meringues and mm -hmm. the boo boo pie and all the things that, yeah. you know, that make it Patty's. And then the second one, the grace of Patty's, it talks about more of the settlement being built in the back. So that is what we want to do now. That's our kind of our goal. And I bought him one of those little tape recorders where he talks to this, yeah, but I do idea. videos with him quite a bit. Yeah. Um, so, 
wanting to write the third because it, the fire hasn't been written yet. And there's still so much, you know, you had to let go of 111 people at one pizza party. Yeah. And, I want, I want know, to hear, I want, I want to dive into that, but first I want to take a quick break. And then when we get back, I want to talk about the impacts of that on both you personally and on the organization. With nine branches in West Tennessee and nationwide ATM and branch access, you can take Leaders Credit Union with you wherever you go. From checking accounts, credit cards, home loans, and their state-of-the-art mobile app, Banking with Leaders can help you move forward. Learn more and see how you can qualify for membership at LeadersCU.com. Leaders is insured by the NCUA. I hope you're enjoying the Real Foot Forward podcast from Discovery Park of America. If you are, please be sure to subscribe, rate, and leave a positive review on iTunes, Spotify, or wherever you listen to podcasts. This is your host, Scott Williams, and our guest today is Ann Martin uh, from Patty's. And uh, Patty's was tooling along, you know, after a bazillion years. And then February 2018 happened. Tell us what happened with the fire. Uh, early morning, I run every morning and start usually about, well, it depends on if school is going with my youngest, but I uh, got a phone call and my daughter said, Aunt Mom, I just saw Patty's was on fire. And I'm probably a mile from my house running. And I'm like, well, she said, I saw it on Facebook. Well, I'm like, okay, so is it like smoke coming out of the, you know, the gas up top of the building? Because I mean, it was, you know, and she's like, no, it really is. So I mean, I ran, that was a fast mile. I ran that fast mile home, um, got to the house, got dressed. And when I got there, it was the, the whole kitchen was on fire on top of it. Thank goodness. He, um, there was not very many people there, you know, it was early morning and the bakery staff was there. They were heading that not all of them got there yet. And it really wasn't a fire as much as they said, when they lifted the acoustical ceiling up then that kind of got that oxygen and it started then the fire up on top. So mm. we, um, were able to get that out. I, we were in the building within two hours after the, and now it was damn it, you know, but we were like, oh, well, maybe this isn't that bad. And, and But it had to be completely, completely raised. Completely, completely all the way down the ground. Yeah. Because then there was a gas line under that had to be moved. And but fortunately, what it did, though, it allowed us to be able to shift the building back and get it off that street so much. And then that portico was able for the, the tour groups to come mm -hmm. in there now. So and the big doors and it's just so much more accessible, you know, and we we love we have 101 birthday tomorrow. I've got one coming in that's going to turn 101. There's, I mean, I've seen 109. I've seen, you know, one, two weeks old. I've seen, you know, it's all, you would believe the crazy things that we see that, that we see that people, it, it's more than just a, I, I, it's hard to explain. You know, it's what I said. Nobody really understands our pork chop followers. We yeah. call them because yeah. they, I mean, they'll bring, they'll bring urns. Yeah. They'll, they'll bring their wow. family members and they'll sit at, and, and we have such those quiet rooms yeah. that they can, okay. Have a moment. Yeah. Yeah. And you yeah. also have a little chapel. You have the mill. Yep. Um, so, um, the place is, is, has burned down and yep. uh, as a leader, you know, what is the first thing you start doing? Uh, figuring out where everybody's going to start going to work <laughs> just so you can hold their paychecks for just a little bit longer. Um, we had employment come in and, and do a mass, you know, let's file right here. You were, um, you had February, you were about right before Valentine's Day. So you were at low staff anyway. You weren't fully staffed, which, and it didn't take as many as we have now. I mean, we have a lot more staff in this new but building. But you probably had but workers who had been working there. 30 be, years. Yeah. And they're still with us now too. Yeah. You know, they stayed with us. So you, yeah, you weren't going to, so I mean, all hands on deck, uh, the and next communication. Day. What do you put out a press release? Do you oh, have to? Oh, I was. Do a, like, I was on. I was on Hawaii TV that morning. I that was one thing. I'd got done running, and my my uh, the girl I run with, she was like, "Are you just going to go straight in?" I said, "I know there's going to be a TV camera somewhere." I was like, "I have well, got. I, yeah, I've got I to get a shower real quick." You yeah. know, I think the firemen have got it. I need to at least look maybe a little presentable. So, uh, not that I did, but I made it. Got no, I wondered up when you and, said you went home yeah, and changed, and I, I thought, I wonder what she did. I was press. on, so I was, and and that felt good. I mean, I was on Channel Six from Channel Twelve to to Lexington. Um, a lady in Hawaii sent me a thing where they did a blurb on it because the the person that worked in the news studio was from there. Mm. I mean, we didn't know it, but they'd ate there, and so they knew the fire had happened. Yeah. The family member told them. So it just it it rippled from there. Um, the next couple of days, we're like, what are, we set up camp at one of our storage rooms we had in the back and mm -hmm. try to figure out where to go. You know, you had everything was water damaged. You had, and it wasn't. We didn't have the stuff on the line like 
we should have. Yeah. yeah. You live and learn. You live a lot. Well, but sure. Yeah. I mean, you guys have, you've learned a million lessons. Oh, yeah. You know, if you could, if, if based on what you've learned for those of us that are listening yeah. that run businesses and stuff, yeah. what are a few of the things that um, you wish you could do different before or things that you've learned that you do from now on? I think the heart of keys manually keys mm. you when you don't know and you got things locked and you got and you're thinking the whole key box was melted and shut now we you know that was a big thing we'd never had enough keys mm -hmm. um so there was lock boxes that didn't have keys there were you know safes that didn't have extra keys it's just wow. but it's a totally different era too you know now you're more everything's more electronic we have a lot of keys here you know <laughs> <laughs> we we have a lot of keys to fatties too yeah, yeah. yeah so i don't know that was a big thing um being able to lock up what was left so then it didn't take everything you had in it you know what i mean yeah. um just just some things like that um I mean, a master we have list plan, we have you know we, we we have plans yeah but that's like an utter devastation plan that is you know but the, you know what the worst plan i ever had to put into action was um uh um tornado plan mm. And that was, I did that, uh, my and my co, we did that, well, when that, in January of last year, I mm -hmm. guess it had been. And it touched down within a mile from us, wow. but it was after the big fire, uh, after the fire, you know, the ones in Mayfield that came through our area sure. and went all the way to people that, you know, different areas, Dolphin yeah. Springs, even some workers there that had Mayfield, all that, it, it, that really was catastrophic. Mm -hmm. And so those you I had this one lady come up to me because everybody's phone started doing the tornado tornado and there yeah. were panic. It was sheer panic in the atrium. I have never yeah. been in a place where there was sheer panic. And she was like, where are we going to go? Where are we go? So I, mean, I was just like, I just went into this mode. And I was like, we go to the church that way. And then in within, within about 10 minutes, I had everybody in the hallway. We had 212 wow. people in the hallway. Wow. And so, and then just talking them through it. Oh guys, it's okay. I'm on, cause I called the fire chief. Yeah. So I'm like, that's two episodes. I like, to not have to yeah, get. no, that's terrible. It is. Was, was, there, but, was there a, was there ever, I mean, was there ever a question even in your mind that they were going to rebuild? Was there ever, do they ever oh, think, yeah, yeah. they ever think like, let's just let it you go. You don't know. I'm, I'm really 27 years old <laughs> and the stress <laughs> I've been through for the fire. It was like this. So it was because people told me coaster. one time when I said, "What is that?" Yeah. They said, "Well, it burned down." You know, I don't know if they're going to rebuild it or not. Yeah. And so I didn't. Some know. days he was, some days he wasn't. Oh, so there was you know, a chance. That, oh, there was many chances, know, oh, many that, chances. He, you know, he they were elder, you know, not elder, but older in their lives. They were in their seventies, yeah. so you know, he was like, "We could just not and go and enjoy life." And, and yeah. but then he knew that. It, it was all about his mom, you know. Yeah. So in the build back, he got it started in with the dentist and trying to figure out what he wanted. And I mean, he if he told you the story, it's crazy about how he even the building is like a diamond ring, mm -hmm. like the top of it's silver on the atrium, and then oh. it goes down to gold, and it goes down to copper. It's supposed to be like a ring because she lost her wedding ring one time, and um, she had some gloves on it. Her she was always cold, and when she took her glove off it she lost her wedding ring and she never could find it so chip says that that is the wedding ring that his mom can look down on uh, what a great story oh there's there's just yeah you know there's just unbelievable ones that you know that are in some of the documentaries that i have they're on youtube and just so to keep it going you know because it's such an awesome place well you guys get i mean you do get a lot of uh publicity and, and there's a charm that people do gravitate yeah. towards a lot like discovery park yeah we're you, very you do. We're i mean it's you walk out, it's, it's just, yeah, it's yeah, very warm. We're similarly blessed. Yeah. Um, well, so then you guys, at, at what point, so, and I don't know when you reopened and when you got everything settled and up and down and, yeah. you know, finally things happened and then COVID hits. Yeah. So how, w at, w when did COVID hit in the process of rebuilding? Um, we were open three months. Oh. Three months <laughs> after the fire, COVID, Martin, and then they came in and closed us, you know, and wow. that was a, that was a close close. And then we rode that was a lot. We closed three times. We closed three times. Yeah. So you. In the um, middle of the shift. You. Oh, they, they. So who came in and said. Um, You got a call. Uh, The host oh. department would come in. Yeah. And say you've got. Yeah. You're going to have to close. You had to be out. We had to be. Had, we had to be cleared the first time. We had to be out, cleared, cleaned, and done. Is how we got cleared. And you're in Kentucky. Done. So you uh -huh. were obviously following Kentucky uh -huh. yeah, state for law. Sure. Yeah. And um, he would. Yeah. And so we. I mean, we were closed for maybe. A, a few weeks yeah. while we, but I was the same way. I mean, you, you know, you were in the same, but you don't know what's, you know, no. is there even going to be people alive to eat? You <laughs> I know, know? I mean, it crazy. was just, it was just, it, you know, we yeah. immediately started doing Zoom meetings. Yeah, um, we did know, too. We, we did too. Uh, how many people do you have like on your corporate staff? Um, 25. Okay, so 25. that's about, yeah. we're about the same there. 
And, uh, you know, when we're full steam ahead, we're about 110, 120 yeah. workers part time and full time in the summertime. So it's, you know, but the corporate people, we started meeting on Zoom almost immediately trying to, you know, trying to, you know, it, it's weird how it just completely changed everything you yeah. were doing. It felt like your yeah, whole yeah. business changed. <laughs> I know. It was it was the craziest. We'd we'd go to Bills. I don't because you have you been to the new one? Yes. We'd go to Bills yes. and everybody would sit like in. Uh, I mean, you were screaming at each other, but we were meeting just oh, because yeah. we had so to come. Far apart. Yeah, and you know, and Chip, you know, and then some would worry about it, and some weren't worried about it, and I was just over here trying to get work done and not freaking out, and you know, right. it was it, yeah, it was a tough time. That yeah. was a very tough. And time. so, how long did you guys have to be closed? Um, we were closed for six months. Okay. The first oh, wow. Three. Uh -huh. So you did all of your workers for the most part yep. go do other things. They they left us there for a while, and we didn't. We sold our stuff on. Sh we had boutiques still, so we sold out of those, and we do oh, ship pick, okay. you know pick up and everybody that. wore masks. Yes, and, they could, and then when they came back in, then they were only open. You know, we opened fifty percent. Did you do plastic shield things? No, we, you just no, had the masks. We, we just did okay. masks. Yeah. We had the plastic shields yeah. we put up, and it was weird. Like bringing them down, it was like, can we take them down? Yeah. And so we let the staff decide. decide. Yeah. You know, and they did decide they wanted them down. So yeah. We took yeah. Them down, we never did at the hostess podium. I mean, we yeah. just figured they were coming in. Now they all had to wear their mask. Yeah. And I was the mask police. I mean, it was the worst ever. Did there you was, have, did you get called when oh, uh, so and so was here and they don't want to wear hit. their mask? And, you know, <laughs> I, I mean, it was, yeah, there was a lot. We only had that a couple of times. We had it probably about every other night. <laughs> oh, you did? And you yeah. had to say, look, you this got is a, the rule. Uh, I mean, like you, though, you got so many different states coming in, but everybody yeah. had different law. And they're like, yeah. well, I'm not from Illinois. And I'm like, well, we're, that's our law here. And yeah. it was a very, very rough time. But I just smiled and waved and. Right. Well, it's over now. Knock on wood. Yeah. That's, yeah. Um, so and we're rolling along. And you know what? Last year was the best year of the company in history. Oh, Last that's year. amazing. Congratulations. Uh, yeah. That's it was wonderful. The best. So we've got a new chef. Um, chef's been hard to have at Patty's. We've had several, um, that they don't get to do their artistic work in Patty's, mm. you know, they're, they're, it's the menu's the menu, you know, yeah. you can't change it. It's, it's kind of what they can do specials, but so he is now over at our other restaurant, T Lawson's cause we opened that one up during the fire so we could be able to train. So that was our second restaurant before the new one opened up. Mm -hmm. And so he is over there and he's got some amazing dishes that he's changing up. And oh, nice. Yeah. And just he's from Chicago and does kind of like a different flair than Patty's. It's totally different. It's got nice. a beautiful copper top bar. We have a piano player at night. It's a cool laid back place that was very, very good food. So well, what is your favorite thing on the menu? On that one over there? Uh, brisket nachos. Okay, so that's what that's what I order <laughs> I think, when I go. Brisket nachos, the gooey burger. It's got um, oh this jam on it that's amazing. Um, bacon pepper jam. I, the chicken. I mean everything. It's just, but that's my kind of food. I'm not. I mean, I love pork chops. Don't get me wrong. I love them. Yeah, no, I love I your pork chops. I, I, but I'm gonna eat some. But yours yeah, are so big. I'm, that <laughs> we always take some home. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Say you can't eat it every day. Right. So it's just. Um, he's got a, rops, a lobster ravioli now that he oh, just started last week. <laughs> I love that. And his shrimp gumbo. So it's. I guess we're excited because it's only been. He's been here for eight months now. So we're getting a whole different flavorful. You know that we haven't had because we've had. You know, pork chops and yeah. chicken and yeah, all the good no, food. I mean, great. it's all good, but it just gives other options now. Now we've got two restaurants to eat from. You've got eight boutiques. Mm -hmm. um, you've got uh, the miniature golf. You've got, you know, all the outside activities LBL offers. So it's, we're getting a new miniature cow coming in there. And we've oh, got peacocks and we've got fine. emu. And, we've got, you know, so there's just something that, and the guys can sit outside and in and, and the gardens and we're rocking the rocking chairs while the women go shop. And it's just slow and easy and fun and good music is playing because it's my, it's my play tunes and I yeah. like good music. Uh, that's and, great. And you got a gazebo there for Yeah, the gazebo. We and, have weddings, yeah. we have yeah. events, um, you know, it's, 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 it's just a great place. And, and I wish that I had done better research so I could yeah. just spin this off my tongue. But when my family, when, when friends or family come from out of town and we go there, there's a place nearby uh -huh. where you can drive through and see bison. Yes, and, that's an LBL. You yeah. Know, that's so you can really go around neat. through Tennessee and go out to the home place and, mm -hmm. and you know, in the hotel, because we have a place that we stay there, we'll do a map out for them that if you want a day trip, you can go here. You guys are on our trip for our um, two day trip. Yeah, excellent. So they tell you to bring you here and yeah. then you go back. So we have different locations yeah. that we send them to just, you know, because when you don't know, you don't know. And then you think, right. well, there was nothing there because you don't know. Right. So if you didn't know about patties, you know, you 
you would be surprised like this. You would ladies. be. And we get we do we do get negative comments about that though. We get like, well, we thought you were going to be some kind of a settlement and you're just over here at boutiques. Well, we get the same thing. We get people yeah. who say if I had known how great it was, yeah. you know, I would have stayed long. I would have yeah. planned to stay yeah. longer, you know. Yeah, or so that's what they, we get that too in the bed and breakfast now. We have Miss Patty's own house. That's mm -hmm. our newest thing too. Oh. She lived like steps away from where the pink tractor is. And so we turned that into an Airbnb and it's her quirky, it's her stuff, you know, it's mm -hmm. quirky, it's fun. So, you know, a family can stay there. So, you know, just, just doing some different things. So last question. Um, you're obviously a successful entrepreneur, <laughs> a real estate person. You're doing some cool stuff like, online, a management leader. What, yeah. what is your inspiration? What inspires you, uh, to achieve? Gosh, you gonna put me on the spot there. That's, a, that's uh, what I like to yeah, do. Yeah, that's what you like to do. Mm -hmm. I, you know, I think, um, I want my kids to be proud. You know, mm -hmm. it's, it's a, not every job has to be a job that you're sad that you have to go to. And you see that a lot, you know, people aren't happy. And if you're, if they see me bounce around going, Hey guys, they may think I'm going quirky. You know, they may think I'm crazy, but at least they're thinking that she's fun. You know, they both of them, I think they tell you I was fun. So I think it's them, you know, I would never do anything that would, you know, make them feel too bad or anything. So I think that they drive me. I think, uh, my team at work, definitely drives me um we're all very competitive and each day we got to get better than the last day and when you find that niche with those those people um that's where that's that's the heart of patties anyway i mean the patties is the brand the patties is you can now we've withstanded two buildings so it wasn't the building it was the people in the building mm -hmm. and it is so they they make me you know they're like oh and what are you going to do this year what are you up to this year because it's always something yeah you know and just keep them happy and striving and so I think that, and then, you know, my husband at home, he's a great guy and he knows that this weekend's going to be tough. We can ask about him. What does I he do? I know he is a, a director of the housing authorities in Benton, Kentucky and in Calvert City. Oh, excellent. So okay. he's, you know, he's, he's got, at home. His, he's own. got his own thing. He's spinning and, plates yeah, too. Well, and my son is young enough. He races motorcycles. So they travel. Cannon oh races goodness. um different routes, Lincoln Trail up in Ohio, um, Illinois. And yeah. my daughter's getting ready to have a baby. So oh, I know. I have I'm a good, jealous. Yeah, in the end of May, I yeah. have my first little boy, Trig. So, oh my goodness. you know, she's married to an awesome guy. So, you know, that side of home is good. Um, yeah. I know they all, my mom's in Florida. She winters in Florida. She comes home in the summer and you know, it's, it's, you know, everything's great. Everything's great. So well, that, you just got to keep on plugging, you know, we're the, so grateful that you came here and well, shared your story you. with us for folks like me who, yeah. who want to see you on TikTok. Uh -huh. What's your handle? It's um, co-CEO Patty's 1887. It's just co-CEO. Yeah. And, and on TikTok. Yeah. Um, so I don't even know, I don't even look at your handle, so I didn't know what your handle <laughs> yeah, yeah, was. I, I when just, you asked me that, I'm sitting there trying to read it in my head. I think it's co-CEO. You'll have to check that. And if, it, and people can also just look If you just gave Google Patties, Patties, if you, you know, yeah, if you, you know, put TikTok and, Patties, yeah. I'm, my face comes yeah. up so much. Yeah. So, uh, and that's, so follow you there. And if somebody's curious about making plans to go to Patties yes. and Grand Rivers and yes. all that. What what's the best the way to, website. Place to go? Right at the top of the website you can go do reservations and we always strive for reservations. We hate when people drive because our average time is two and a half hours to get to us. Mm -hmm. And when they drive there and then we are we don't even have to go going because Johnny called in sick back there, you know, and right. you, you know, you gotta shut some stuff down so you don't people don't kill each other. Yeah. You know, people don't understand the whole backstory oh, of it sure, of all sure. the human Yeah, and customer service yeah, and all that. Yeah. So that's where, you know, we always suggest that, you know, they're like, well, why did you put out there that you don't have reservations? Well, I may in fifteen minutes. I may you know, I can't put that out there. Right, you know, right. you know. So it's it's tough. It's a tough way to have to show that but you just hope you get your word out. And that's what I appreciate this. This is awesome. I love yeah, being, I appreciate absolutely. being on here. You know? So um, people can go and uh, make a reservation to stay in one of the places yes. there to stay yes. in, go see a show. There's a at lot to Bill's do. Bill's Playhouse. Yes. Come, go to you go and eat. eat, go to the other restaurant, restaurant have a drink. And, yeah, I mean, you could have a whole yes. weekend. There's, there's, you can ride around on golf carts all weekend. What, how much better is that? You and don't even have to have your car. It just dawned on me. So, when COVID hit, my wife and I, for my parents' um, Christmas present, yeah. we had booked um, a big cabin for the whole family for the whole weekend. Fine. And COVID hit. Oh, and you didn't get to do everything it. closed. They, everything wasn't closed yet, but we had to call them and say, "Is there any way?" And they let us 
cancel it and gave us our money back. Oh. Wasn't that nice? So they didn't have that's, to do they that. They didn't have to do that. So yeah. shout out to the Green Turtle that folks. Is, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah that's know. a great place over there. You know, they. I think about them, too. They've got the employment issues, too. And yeah. so that's one thing. We all just got to try to work together to make sure that every, it's a good spot for them. You want, the more the draw, the more the do, Absolutely. the more the fun, the more they'll come. And I should have said a while ago, <laughs> in addition <laughs> to all those other things. That, I won't remember that. <laughs> all those things, it, you know, in, in uh, your area, they need to also include a trip to Discovery Park well, in America. Well, and then you did. That's what I said. You guys are in my yeah. box there yeah, on my great. day trips for yeah. to go to. Cause, and it, I just, I was videoing, I was here. I was like, you guys, which we buy tickets for our staff at our giveaways oh nice yeah so um i did last year's so we'll have it in march again so in march i'll be calling y'all yeah because um, i buy to buy them season pass you know because yeah, some of them you. just it's a neat place and they yeah. don't even know it you know right now so that's that that's be, what we're here yeah. for yeah. that's what we're here for well thank you yes thanks this is fun and thank you to all of you listeners who joined us today at discovery park of america our mission here is to inspire children and adults to see beyond to plan an experience here for you and your family visit discoveryparkofamerica.com 